Hey, Alex, John, how's it going, man? Okay, uh, it's good. Um, you gonna be around today? Okay, I haven't left the house yet, so um, I'm probably gonna stop by around but sometime between one and two. Cool. All right. So, um, cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, bro. All right. See you in a bit. Bye. Hey, so Living Room Con here, and I just got off the phone with Al and... He just uh, got back from. Uh, he's gonna be. Ba he's gonna be back in the shop, probably about fifteen twenty minutes. He's on his way back from the hospital, so I don't expect him to always be at Amazing Collectibles. I have to uh, do some errands, go to the post office, because of course I gotta keep the eBay store running, and then uh, do some stuff with the wife. And I noticed that some of you guys in the comments have said that. Uh, have I gone to any other stores, any other comic book stores? In the last video, I actually had a yesteryear segment, and I just completely cut it out because it was literally like when I went into Amazing Collectibles, all I was really looking for was the latest issue of Spawn. He marked it up to $30, and I didn't even say anything. I just said, all right, to the guy, and I just left because I, I honestly, like, there's really nothing to talk about, to be honest. It, it, it is when there's books stacked on top of the long boxes so you can't even like go through the long boxes without asking for help it is really not a lot to talk about I nitpick every single book in the in the inventory and uh, for him to do that would be like a, he would have to devote too much time where he can't really operate his business so um, after Amazing Collectibles uh, we're gonna go to SoCal Comics say hi to Jamie or whoever's working there Becky Becky's there uh, just stop by, say hi, and then, um, yeah, um, my wife's going to be joining us, uh, for the ride, um, so we're going to be going to, uh, a couple other stores, like, uh, Target, Trader Joe's, supposed to be surprised, but, uh, there's really not much to, uh, San Diego that I, that I'm striving to get to at the moment. Uh, later on, I will probably end up going out, reaching out to other stores. I know Empire Collectibles, I heard they packed their bags and left. And that was another store that I really liked. And I got some really great stuff from there. And I really wish that guy stayed in El Cajon. But he, uh, yeah, I don't know. He, he has a reputation for not being um, so great in San Diego. Um, but... Uh, that's only because of what I've heard on Facebook through the comments, but I liked it. I like his store. Um, and I know that he goes to a show, Terry's show up in LA. I can't remember. It's a special show where it's just vintage comics in the month of January. It probably won't be happening this year. Um, but it is a great show. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll, Next video, I'll, I'll uh, tell you guys, or maybe later in this video, I'll tell you what it is. Um, so, yeah, the budget today is 60 bucks. It's really hot. Yeah, at AC, uh, I need to fix it. I think it needs more Freon or whatever, you know, like. Here, I'll try, try to work it, see if okay. it works. Focus on driving, please. Yeah. That feels a little better, right? No? I'm still melting. I think I just need some fresh air, really. Do you want me to get you a water? No, I have one. Okay. Keeping Starbucks in business, one coffee at a time. Are we getting on the five? Yeah. First but... one has a mattress on top of their car. Oh, cool. You want to get that? Yeah, welcome to PB. I saw at Barry Gary's YouTube video, he went to uh, Koch, Koch's uh, comic book warehouse in Brooklyn. And, 
Can you explain who that is to people who don't know? Oh, everybody on YouTube knows who Mary Gary is. But I don't know. He's um he's a comic book dealer. He lives in Connecticut, and he goes to places like Westchester, the Bronx, Brooklyn, to uh, get comic book collections. Oh. It's a little bit more hot today in Lakeside than it is everywhere else, but don't care. It's not gonna stop me. Not gonna stop us. Can't stop, won't stop. When it comes to comics, the only thing that'll stop me is my wallet. So we just got out of Amazing Collectibles. I got some pretty awesome deals like always because Al is the fucking man. So now it's time to get some cool beverages. I've never seen that and I've been going here for seven years. Looks like another room they're gonna do something with, I'm not sure. So I just got out of SoCal Comics. I was in and out of there within 10 minutes and uh, all I did was spend five bucks. It was literally like in and out so fast because I asked both the girls, uh, Becky and uh, I'm not sure what the other girl's name is, but basically like whatever's in those dollar bins, they just, they don't need to put new stuff in there, so I go in there at least twice a week to see if there's any sort of new movement in the inventory, and it's kind of like, I'm always asking them if they have new stuff, and it's like, it doesn't seem like they ever really get around to it, but I did find some, uh, some good stuff. All I did was spend five bucks, so if all I spent was five bucks, it's kind of like, yeah, I guess you can't be disappointed, right? And I didn't really have to go out of my way. It was just on the way back from Amazing Collectibles. So now we're just going to go to Trader Joe's, um, get some food, and and uh, call it a day. I'll, uh, I'll show you guys uh, when we get home what I got. And, uh, and uh, I want to make sure that uh, we're well fed for the week. So I'm going to go get some groceries. All right, so... Let's just take a look at what I got. Okay. So, um, uh, I can I help you after I stop shooting the video? Um, you could help, uh, but what do you want to help me with? Okay. All right. So, let's start off with this beauty here. I was um, sort of in between whether it was a fine or very fine, but I believe because there's some mini chipping along the edges that it falls between the fine, fine plus range, which kind of makes it like a $30 book, but it is so beautiful, this book is kind of like, just so, like, looks like it has, it's very clean and very well polished. The colors are bright it's got Galactus on the cover and it's a Jack Kirby Stan Lee book so from the 60s I thought this was probably the best purchase of the day I mean if you want to keep looking at it for another few seconds and then I'll just switch to the other book here and just you can drop in the comments what you guys think of that and then here I got another copy of this book because this book's just selling right now is uh Incredible Hulk, Future Imperfect, Issue 1, First Appearance, Maestro. I've been going through this book a lot because it's selling. And uh, Al gave me a deal on it. So there. So then we got Detective Comics 369. Now, I believe this is the third appearance of uh, Batgirl. Um, it looked to me like a VG. There's a lot of wear 
on it. I didn't see any chipping, but there's a lot of wear, especially on the back cover. It's just, you see the, you know, a lot of the darker wear. I think it's like a $15 book. And then you got this one, Wonder Woman uh, 100, so 196, the bondage cover. And on here it's got some of the spine missing, so it falls in the lower grade category. Again, it's it's more like $15 book. Um, anything with the Wonder Woman bondage covers or, you know, from the Bronze Age or, you know. All right, so uh, then we got Kung Fu Fighter issue one, the first appearance of Bronze Tiger. Now, I remember they made a lot of hype about uh, the Bronze Tiger. I think it's called the Bronze Tiger. That The guy was going to play him in the new Suicide movie, but now it turns out that it's some other character that gets killed off really quickly in the Superman uh, Copper Age run. Uh issue Superman 4 and it's kind of a random character from the DC Universe but still a good book to have I don't know whether it's uh, holding its value after that but we'll see after DC fandom on September 12th so yeah I just got some uh, you know X-Men 186 from the dollar bin in Southern California comics so this is it I thought these are good because these are only like a dollar, so I thought, why not? All right, so that's it, guys and girls. If you like what you saw, just hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, hit that notification bell so when you know when uh, my videos are popping up, you'll know right away when they're going to happen. And then uh, that's it. So um, I'm the Great Cornholio, and need TV for my bunghole.